High-ranking Indonesian government officials express urgency to relieve state budget, pointing on possible higher fuel prices in Indonesia. Although government have yet to make any official confirmations, many Indonesian high-ranking government officials, including President Joko Widodo himself, stated that government are reviewing the high possibility of raising subsidized fuel prices. Currently, government is spending 502 trillion rupiah on subsidizing fuel prices, which is 16 percent of this year's state expenditures. Those subsidies have been increased significantly as the government has had to keep up with the crude oil prices in global market which have increased by 24% compared to the start of the year. Indonesia plans relieving economy burden with some new social aids worth a total 24.7 trillion rupiah for anticipating higher fuel prices in near future. After attending meeting at the President's office in Jakarta, Finance Minister Sri Mulyani Indrawati announced that there will be three kinds of social aids to be implemented in the anticipation of possible rising fuel prices. The government is preparing financial aid for a low-income family. At least 20.65 billion have been registered. Each family will receive 600,000 rupiah every month. Financial aid will also be received by 16 million workers. The government also spends subsidies for public transportation through the local governments. Sri Mulyani also explained that global pressures are burdening Indonesians. It has weighed food prices with continuous inflation. Food inflation is also signaling a possible increase of fuel prices. And however, as of now, the government has not confirmed whether or not there will be an increase of subsidized fuel prices. Uh, akan mulai memberikan bantalan sosial tambahan sebagai bentuk pengalian subsidi BBM sebesar 24,17 triliun rupiah. Bantalan sosial tambahan ini akan diberikan kepada pertama 20,65 juta kelompok atau keluarga penerima manfaat 